Hey guys, Dantix here, back with another Cyberpunk 2077 build guide. This time satisfying all that wish to play is David Martinez. It's a tricky one because he likes to use a mix of things in Edge Runners, and I wanted the journey to be as faithful as possible. Once your build is complete, you'll be moving at super speed around your enemies, punching them into a pulp and using pistols to finish off stragglers. You'll be spending most of your combat in bullet time mode, only hiding behind cover briefly when it's down. So in this video, I'll run through the attributes, the perks you want to pick up, as well as the cyberware and weapons. Let's get started. First and most importantly, the cyberware. David relies heavily on his Sound of Istan throughout the show and it'll be the cornerstone of this build. You want to save eddies from the start of the game to purchase the first you can afford. This will get you through the early part of the game with the eventual goal of saving 28,000 eddies in order to buy a legendary version, the quaint MK4 from Fingers. You'll meet him throughout the main storyline, but be sure to be nice to him or he won't sell it to you. This one is arguably the best in the game as it has a short cooldown and decent duration so you can spam it more often than not. Be sure to check out all the Ripper docks around Night City if you're having trouble deciding. David also uses at different points in the show the Mantis Blades, the Projectile Launch System and the Gorilla Arms. Though he seems to have a combination of the Gorilla and the Projectile Launch System which you cannot get in the game so it's really personal choice. I opted to go with the Projectile Launch System since David uses the launcher the most in the show, though I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to punch harder with Gorilla Arms. Most of these cyberwares can be found at any Ripper Dock once the tutorial mission aka the Arasaka job is done. In terms of other cyberware it's really up to you, though the Kereznikov fits in with the theme as well as it slows down time. Now comes the choice of weapons you can use. You can grab a Lexington like what David was gifted in the first half of the show or the Gamora which he uses in the later half of the show. At least use these weapons at the start of the game before you find much better ones. I invested a bit into tech for crafting and grenade damage so the side effect is crafting nice pistols. My favourite being Conrad's Hammer which is an absolutely insane one shot one kill tech pistol that benefits from all the pistol and tech perks. Check out my video below on where to find it and how to use it. You can also upgrade and recraft the legendary pistol Crash as well if you love those headshots. Other than those recommendations which give you the most gore, Night City is your oyster. Punch and shoot your way to the top, how you dress is up to you, but getting David's jacket definitely suits the theme. Now comes the meat, the attributes and perks. I shouldn't have 4 attributes max but for the sake of this video I needed to do it, I didn't want to show you a lower level character. You want to focus primarily on body and reflexes with secondary points going into tech or cool after maxing the others. When starting a new character you'll have a limit of how many points you can put into each so max body and reflexes and dump a few into cool or tech, choice will be made clear soon. If you like playing a true David, he focuses mostly around body at the start so you can do the same, solving problems with your fist and your sandy. So jump over to the street brawler tree and start dumping points there. Remember you can always respect your points but not your attributes. So pump up your blunt weapon damage. I opted to go for everything that boosts damage and I avoided stamina restoring perks because I found myself switching to pistols when low on stamina. Since this is a max character and I didn't spend much time with Fist before my guide, my street baller experience is low and I'm unable to get the gorilla perk but you most definitely want to shoot for that. Speaking of shoot, be sure to weave the occasional handgun perk in with the goal of maxing it out. As you can see in this character I grabbed everything I could though you want to be more choosy when building your lower level character. There are a few standout perks, the first is Grand Finale, it works great with your Conrad's hammer as it only has one shot before it reloads so every shot is the last shot therefore every shot will be double damage. Along with perks like Rio Bravo you'll be multiplying your damage by crazy amounts. At this level Adam Smasher becomes a tiny man child almost getting one shot by your pistol. Then you have a choice, tech or cool. Tech lets you craft items, boost grenades and tech weapons so it's my personal choice as I love optimizing legendary weapons and explosions. Put points into crafting to level the experience of it up by just crafting things, then later respec your perks to only grab what you need like the edge runner artisan perk. 
Over in the engineering tab, there are a few perks that help grenade damage and therefore your projectile launch systems damage. Shrapnel and jackpot. Then we have a bonus perk that makes your Conrad's hammer even more deadly, the superconductor perk, which makes it so tech weapons ignore armor. Only put enough attribute points into tech to get the perks you want, then put the rest in cool. Why cool? Well, for Cold Blood. Cold Blood is a passive that gives you various buffs as you kill enemies. In order to get experience in this tree, you'll need to have one point at least in the Cold Blood passive. So do that very early on to start reaping the benefits of free perk points and buffs as you level up. Later, come back and max it out, as well as grab any perks that boost your output, like Blood's Well to keep you alive through lethal damage and Frozen Precision to increase headshot damage per stack of Cold Blood. You might want to forego tech completely to focus on the raw output of the Cold Blood tree, and I wouldn't blame you. Ignore intelligence completely though, it's not David's style to hack things. So how do you use this build? Well, you want to walk into fights, activate your sandy and punch or shoot things into pulps, occasionally weaving in the projectile launcher. That's David's style. When the sandy is on cooldown, get in cover and heal. Rinse and repeat. So there you have it. Everything you need to know to build your own David Martinez. Be sure to go out in a blaze of glory and take down Adam Smasher for me, would you? Thanks for watching guys, and for everything RPG, including the up and coming Starfield, Dragon Age, Dreadwolf, and Mass Effect 4, keep it tuned to Dantix. Ciao friends.